Hello people and welcome to this uh, short little tutorial on how to run PlayStation 1 games uh, using Tony Hacks in a different uh, refresh rate. Now, um, Tony Hacks is great, but sadly it does not uh, it does not automatically enable the games to run in their uh, correct uh, refresh rate. So say I have a PAL PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1 uh, and I want to run a, your, uh, an American game. Uh, it's gonna sadly run in 50 Hertz which is mm, painful. I don't want that anymore. Not in 2021. Now I have already installed Tony Hacks. I'm not gonna show you how to do that um, because there is a lot of videos that already do that much better than I could. Uh, the thing that we're going to be needing in uh, my method of getting around this issue is PS1 V mode negative. Uh, this is essentially a piece of software that enables your uh, PlayStation 1 software to run in the opposite video mode. It does not sadly change your PlayStation 1's region to the opposite one. That would be great, but it doesn't do that. It only changes the standard video output of your PlayStation 1 software on the PS2 to 60 Hertz as opposed to 50. You can already see that my screen is looking pretty funky because it's missing some stuff at the bottom and that's just normal when you force a PAL console into 60 Hertz. As you can see it is in 60 Hertz. Ignore the 480i because my scaler doesn't exactly know what 240p is. But you can also hear that the music is going a little bit faster than it's supposed to and um, Soon you will also notice that there is some stuff missing off the, uh, uh, off the bottom of the screen. So if you needed any more proof that this is uh, running in 60 hertz as opposed to 50 how it's supposed to. So one of the things missing is the um, uh, is the language selection. So we're gonna spill laden. And we're gonna load Tony Hawks. Um, you can also use other games with Tony Hacks. It just happens that I have an original copy of uh, Crash Bandicoot 3, and this is one of those games that are re uh, that are supported by it. So now I'm taking out uh, Crash Bandicoot 3, and I am putting in Front Mission 3. I actually own an original copy of this, which normally I would not be able to run on either my PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. Um, or PlayStation 3 for that matter, which is completely dumb. But now it is initializing and it is running, and um, as you'll see uh, right now, if I can manage to hit my uh, scaler with the remote, it still stays in 60 Hertz. And as you'll see, the uh, image fills the entire screen once we get past the Electronic Arts, Squaresoft, and... Uh, all of the other uh, welcoming screens. Yeah, you can see it's filling out the entire screen as it's supposed to. If uh, I was playing this game without the V mode negative, um, you would see a gigantic, uh, a gigantic bar at the bottom of the screen, and also everything would be moving just sl slightly slower, just enough to piss you off. So yeah. This is how you get around the um, no hertz selection. They will possibly implement that in the newer revisions or uh, newer uh, versions of Tony Hacks, and uh, they're still very much active about that one. Um, but yeah, for now, this is also a very viable solution that anybody uh, who has a free Mac boot can implement. If I manage to find a download for the V mode negative, I will include it in the comment. Uh, and uh, well, thank you, thank you for watching. If you stayed this long, bye bye.